Todd and Police Department is honoring its past, building a museum for officers inside of the police headquarters, paying respect to those who came before them. KTK's Annalise Coble gives us a look. A once barren corner of the Tyler Police Department is being put to good use. We had all these artifacts and closets, and we started gathering them, and it's been a goal of mine to always kind of come up with some type of display area so we could get them out of the closet because to a lot of people, they mean so much. Like Robert Hitt, his father, Sergeant John T. Hitt Jr., passed away from cancer when he was working for Tyler PD back in 1986. He was just a good man. He, uh, he knew everybody, everybody knew him, and uh, he was a proud sergeant. I never heard anybody say anything bad about him. Besides Sergeant Hitt's full uniform, the walls are lined with barrier breaking memories. Like these photos of the first women officers in Tyler and the first black officers in Tyler. And then there's tons of old technology and even older technology. About 30 years ago, when Officer Don Martin started, he says this is the exact radio he started with. It got about four channels, and he could only talk to people within the Tyler PD. This is his radio today. He can talk to multiple agencies. One of the museum's most intricate displays are these model cars, handmade by a U.S. airman and hobbyist. Kind of make it look like I had invented both a time machine and a shrinking machine to be able to say, hey, it looks like you went back in time, uh, pointed your shrinking gun at something, and then brought it back with you. The small museum shares a little slice of life from years past. We're real proud of it. Very proud of him. Miss him. And some sweet memories, too. Annalise Coble, KETK News. By the way, Officer Don Martin says they plan to uh, leave the museum up as, as long as they can and continue to add pieces as well as they can as well.